Hello, welcome back. Got the throw five in full swing, but I'm not going on a throw five on this video. I just want to have a quick chat to you about a little quirk which affects the 6900 CRT radio and the 9900. I don't know this if this affects the 7900 or the 3900. I've not got those radios to compare it. And that is that if you use these radios in cold weather, in cold conditions, that when you first switch on, they tend to be a little bit off frequency. Both my radios can be a little bit high, so when, when you transmit, people might come back and say to you, Fred, you're a little bit off frequency. As the radio warms up, and this can take as little as, say, five minutes, as the radio warms up, they get onto frequency pretty quickly, and then they do not drift. They are spot on throughout the whole of the QSO. Um, it depends. Oh, everyone I've spoke to on a 6900, um, a couple of people have, don't seem to have the issue, but most people do have this this sort of degree of sort of cold start off of frequency. Uh, Dave 061 has it. Um, depends on the radio. So some I think are worse than others. Mine do it, but I've just learned to live with it. In fact, I've even forgot about it. What you can do, if I just zoom into this 6900 here, now. What I, I tend to do, I've got into the habit of leaving the radio just like this, just ticking over on receive for about 10 minutes before I use it, and then it's absolutely fine. But if I come on from cold, what you can do is you can set the clarifier control here. Now, I did not a separate video on this, so I'm not going to go into it on this one. I'll, I'll leave a little pop-up at the end, and I'll, I'll try and link it in the, dis, in the comment, in the description. But, um, yeah, you can set the clarifier, so not only does it adjust the incoming signal, but it also adjusts your transmit signal. And for me, what I find is if, if I come on and people say that I'm high, I just knock it down to uh, 30490 for the first couple of minutes, and then I gradually sort of step it up and then it's uh, absolutely fine. It just gets on to frequency. Same thing on my 9900, but it doesn't seem as badly affected. Sorry, I've gone completely on the zoom now. What I can do on this radio is I don't worry about the clarifier because it has a linear clarifier. I generally just do the tuning. I just have it just to, for the last digit there. And this one, again, I just generally step it down to 27349 and that's enough to get me on frequency and then once it's warmed up normally about five minutes i just flick it back up to the proper frequency um it doesn't affect fm if you're using these radios on fm or am they're absolutely spot on it is purely on upper and lower side and now i know that's going to be a deal breaker for some people i've read in the comments people have rejected these radios because they just can't stand the fact that they might be slightly off. Uh, personally, I think it's absolutely okay because once they warm up, once they warm up, they are absolutely spot on. There's nothing worse than getting an older radio, getting an old radio that slightly drifts off, and you know. And but once these warm up, they are absolutely fine. But I do understand that some people it might be a real deal breaker. They they, they really have trouble coping with that. I've got to be honest with you. If if you want a, a radio that is precise from the moment you switch it on, you really are talking HF gear. They're just, they're just built to much tighter tolerances. The components that they use are obviously better quality because they cost three times as much. It's the same as everything. I don't I don't know why. Before you, I don't know why they they, they sort of slightly drift. It's obviously manufacturing tolerances you do get what you pay for unfortunately and although the prices have gone up in lockdown the 6900 for example does offer you a hell of a lot of money for what you get for a radio it, it, i i think it's still great value I, I can sort of put up with it why it does it whether it's the motherboard itself just coming up to temperature and whether, whether they've got some cheap it's like nichicon type uh, electrolytic capacitors on the board and maybe just you just have to wait for them to reform honestly i don't know why Perhaps someone, if you do, if you've got, you know, if you've got a theory other than that they're, they're cheap, but if you've got a theory, perhaps put it in the comments. But so I just thought I'd mention that because it is a bit of a deal breaker for some people. I completely forgot about it. It's only someone left a comment last week, and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, they they can be a little bit off frequency when you first use them. But uh, as I say, once, once they come on, once they come up to temperature. And it's it, they're absolutely fine. But of course, other people using them, they do sound sometimes a little bit off. But that's it. I hope I've explained that well. Sorry, it's just a video that I was making while I was listening to the 305. There you go. 
there's the thumbs up thanks thanks for watching as always cb is really getting popular now it really is i'm getting a lot of views a lot of people have ordered these radios and they're waiting for them to come in and uh, yeah it's fantastic really really popular now in the uk so cheers thanks for watching give us a thumbs up that helps subscribe for more and all that stay safe difficult times and i'll catch you all on the next one cheers guys <laughs>